In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the cost of electricity. But first, we need to calculate the electric power in this problem. So we have a refrigerator, which draws 2.3 amps of electric current from a 120 volt AC power supply. Now in part A, we need to calculate the electric power that is being delivered to the refrigerator. In part B, we need to calculate the electric energy. Electric energy is different than electric power. So energy is measured in things like joules or kilojoules. Power is measured in things like watts or kilowatts. By the way, kilowatt hours is not a unit of power, it's a unit of energy. Power is the rate at which energy is being transferred. It's work divided by time. Energy is power multiplied by time. You can rewrite this equation like this, E over T if you want. So power is the rate at which energy is transferred. And if you want to calculate electric energy, it's power multiplied by time. So for part A, we want to calculate electric power. Here's the formula we could use. It's voltage multiplied by current. So this refrigerator is receiving 120 volts of electricity and it's drawing 2.3 amps of current. So 120 times 2.3 is 276 watts. Now, one watt is one joule per second. So this is the electric power that is being delivered to the refrigerator. So what this means is that every second, 276 joules of electric energy is being delivered to the refrigerator. That's electric power. It's the rate at which energy is being delivered to something. Now let's move on to part B. What is the total amount of, a, of electric energy that this device will consume in a month? To calculate electric energy, we need to multiply power and time. But I'm going to do this by means of a conversion process. So the electric power is 276 watts. Now, when dealing with the cost of electricity, typically electric energy is reported in kilowatt hours. So we want to convert watts to kilowatts. One kilowatt is equal to a thousand watts. So this is simply a conversion factor, but this value is the P part in the equation. Now I'm going to use another conversion factor. We know that there's 24 hours in a day. The reason why I'm using this is because I want kilowatt hours. If you multiply the power in kilowatts and the time in hours, you'll get the energy in kilowatt hours. Right now, the unit watts will cancel. Now, I need to get rid of the unit days. And we want to calculate the total amount of electric energy that this device will consume in a month. And we know that a typical month has 30 days in it. But notice that all these three fractions here are conversion factors. I haven't really used the T part in this equation. T is the time, and that's one month or 30 days. So this is the T part in the equation. Notice that it's over one. It's not a conversion factor. So now we could cancel the unit days and we could cancel the unit months. 
This will give us the energy in kilowatt hours. So it's 276 divided by 1,000 times 24 times 30. So the electric energy that's consumed by this device in one month is 198.72 kilowatt hours. So that's the answer for part B. Now, moving on to part C, we want to calculate the costs. All we need to do is multiply this by the cost per kilowatt hour. So this is 198.72 kilowatt hours over one. And we're going to multiply that by 11 cents per one kilowatt hour. So now we can cross out the unit kilowatt hours, and this will give us the total cost for the electricity that is being consumed by the refrigerator in a month. So 198.72 times 0.11 is $21.86. So that is the total cost for running this particular refrigerator in a month. It's going to cost you $21.86 if the cost of electricity is $0.11 cents per kilowatt hour. So now you know the process of calculating the cost of electricity that a certain device will run. If you know the wattage of the device, you could find the cost. In this case, the wattage is 276 watts. If you don't have that information, if you know the voltage, which in the US will typically be 120 volts for a power outlet. And if you know the current that that device draws, then you can calculate the electrical power and you could ultimately find the total cost of electricity if you know what the average cost is in your area. So that's basically it for this video. By the way, for those of you who want to see certain topics in regards to electricity or other physics related topics, feel free to post a comment below the video if you want to see a certain type of video or anything like that. So let me know in the comment section, you know, what kind of electricity or physics video that you would like to see me create in the future. So I'll be looking at that in the first few days once this video is released. So feel free to do that early.